Well, good morning. Today is Friday. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Friday, March 13th. Ooh, I didn't walk today because we have high winds going on right now. And I started to walk and it was just too windy. So I thought, uh, hopefully the winds will calm down and I can go later on this afternoon. But um, I was looking at my weather app and it looks like it's pretty much going to be windy all day. So we do have some birthdays today. Today is Marsha Wilson's birthday. Marsha, you get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marsha. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Rose Turner's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rose. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Okay, my plans for today. I don't show you my food on Fridays because I don't eat breakfast or lunch. I only eat dinner. Um, religious purposes, not to lose weight. But um, I woke up this morning, I got a sty on my eye. It's driving me crazy. My mother always said you're supposed to pee on your eye. <laughs> I guess it's an old wives tale. I called the doctor. The doctor said just to use warm compresses. I think I'm gonna go with what the doctor says. But um, anyway, Denise had called me earlier before I was getting ready to go for my walk and it was really windy. And uh, she said, you know, I have to go get some groceries. And I said, yeah, thankfully I went yesterday. And uh, so she says, oh, well, do you think maybe you could go and just stand in line? She says, because I drove by the store because she had to bring Kylie for some blood work this morning. And she says, the, the line is, just, the, the parking lot is just unbelievable. And I go, well, okay. So uh, we got one big cart and then the little cart, which we had to bring our own carts in again t today. And I stood in line while Denise did all of her shopping. And then... Um, my daughter-in-law, Cindy, had called me and said that, um, you know, she was having a hard time finding stuff. And so I said, well, I'm at Kroger's anyhow. You want me to look for what you need? So she gave me a list. So Denise and I took turns tag teaming <laughs> while we went around, shopped with the little cart, got our stuff, and then transferred it into the big cart. And then there was this one man that was there, and he says, oh, that was a smart idea. And I go, did you need to get more stuff? And he said, well, yeah, but I have no one to watch my cart. And I go, I'm standing right here. <laughs> So he said, you really don't mind? And I go, no, I really don't mind. I said, you just get a little cart, because there was lots of little carts, and uh, just reload your basket. So he says, you sure you don't mind? And I go, I am positive I don't mind. So he did. And he filled up his basket, too. He, he was very appreciative. But I'm thinking, you know, at this time, you know, this is the time where we all have to get together and, you know, be there for each other. But uh, the shelves are just like... Because uh, Michigan has closed all of their schools for the next, well, this, my school district is closed, uh, well, Michigan closed all school districts for three weeks, but mine, the week they're supposed to go back is their spring break, and they're still giving them their spring break. So the kids in my school district have a whole month off, and so um, the shelves were getting, you know, which means your kids are going to be home, they're going to be eating more, they're not going to be eating at lunch, uh, at school, so you got to provide the lunches, so like all of the SpaghettiOs and the raviolis and the macaroni and cheese and all the little quick meals were gone. There was no meat in the meat counter. The meat counter was completely wiped clean. Uh, there was no eggs. Uh, the milk was very, you know, slow. I mean, not slow, light. And uh, obviously, toilet paper. I, although I did get some toilet paper, I must have got there just as they were stocking. So I was able to pick up a couple of packs of toilet paper for my daughter-in-law. And then they had a limit of only one pack of water so I got her a 24 pack of water and then uh, there was no soap obviously and um, but it was it was like I, I, the store is going to look like when you see these poor countries where they're they have to stand in like a bread line and then they get in and there's hardly anything on the shelves I think by the uh, by tomorrow that's what the Kroger is going to look like so um, Christy has to figure out what you I'm probably going to watch Sophia Christy's trying to, Christy has a job where she could work from home. Um, she's trying to get them to say that they're going to work from home. Cindy's a teacher, and so she has to go in next week because they're going to teach them how to um, teach online. Because, but, which, you know, not everybody has a computer, so I don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, um, I never thought I'd see this day. I really didn't. My fa one of my favorite Stephen King books was The Stand which was about an epidemic, and I'm thinking, you yeah, know, that'll never happen. Well, yeah, it happens, and it did happen, and it's happened worldwide. And I just hope we don't get to the point, like, I feel bad for the people in Italy because now they have to choose who lives and dies. That's, that's sad. 
But anyway, that's all doom and gloom. I don't want to talk all doom and gloom. What I wanted to talk about today was um, they're telling you how to prepare and um, the things that they tell you to, to get for your uh, preparations that's going to last are the things that are on the WW diet. They, t they tell you to get proteins, beans, fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds. All this sounds so familiar. It sounds like a WW diet. <laughs> so um, we might be uh, confined in. I did get a notice from um, Kim, somebody, Mindy, Mindy, I think she's the head of the WW organization. And she said they're still going to have their meetings. So I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm waiting to see if my meeting's going to be open tomorrow. I think I'm just going to get weighed and leave, to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to stay. But then I don't know. I, I'll, I'll decide when I get there. But, you know, what? The, what's the difference? I was in Kroger's today where the place was jam-packed. It was just unbelievable how packed it was. So I, if anybody had it in the store, I would have got it in the store. And my thinking is, um, if I get it, I get it. I mean, I, I'm going to do as much as I can to avoid getting it, but if I get it, I, I, um, I'm not going to panic. You know, it doesn't do any good to panic. But uh, these are 10 reasons why... Maybe you're not losing weight. And uh, one of the reasons, well, I should say 11, because the main reason you probably won't lose weight is because you're going to stress eat, because you're going to be worried about this virus. Don't be doing that. You know, put your faith in God. And uh, if it's your time, it's your time. I know that's terrible to say, like, so cavalier. But, uh, I mean, there's things you can do to prevent it. So take all the precautions that you can. But nobody's guaranteed every day. So you have to remember that. Um, but... I'll be honest with you, I'm praying a little bit more than I, than I usually do, but which is good, you know, it can't hurt. But these are 10 things that you could, are one of the reasons that you're not losing weight, pandemic aside. <laughs> one of the 10 reasons that you're not losing weight is you're not eating enough protein. You should try to eat protein at every meal, and, and we, we know what proteins are, beans, eggs, you know. There's so many bananas, no, the bananas? No, that, that has potassium. I got the peas mixed up. But uh, try to eat as many proteins as you can and try to have at least one protein at each meal. Uh, one of the second thing is one of the things I think I've, looking back at my tracker, I've had a blue dot every day, but I've looked at it and I've, uh, I've really eaten too many carbs. I've had too many um, bagels and breads and things like that this week. I stayed within my points and I'm allowed to have them, but you have to know how your body reacts. And my body doesn't really handle too many carbs um, too ha too happily. So um, I'm going to have to cut back on my carbs a little bit. Also, we're not eating enough fiber. Um, I think I eat enough fiber. Uh, fiber's in so many different uh, fruits and vegetables and things like that. So if you're eating pretty much a healthy diet, you are getting enough fiber. Uh, number four is you're not drinking enough water. So many times you might think you're hungry and uh, you're eating and really you were just thirsty. So uh, I always have water. I always have my water nearby. Uh, Jim makes fun of me because whenever we go anywhere, I have a, my cup that I bring with me full of water. And uh, he said, uh, oh, like we think we're crossing the desert or something. you got to bring your water. And one time I left the house, I forgot my water. He called me and said, you forgot your water. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just ingrained in me that I bring my water wherever I go now because I just like to drink my water. And uh, it's... I can just drink it plain. I know a lot of people don't like plain water, but put a slice of lemon, put some cucumber, uh, put those little crystal lights in it. Um, you know, even if you put a little bit of lemon juice, you know, like get a bottle of lemon juice and just put a little bit of lemon juice in it. I, I, I find drinking with a straw helps me drink more water too. I don't know why, but um, drinking with a straw really helps me out a lot. And um, anyway, I drink a lot of water is the whole point. Uh, number five is not eating enough. A lot of times we think if we just stop eating, we're going to lose weight. Your body needs all the nutrients and minerals and all of that stuff in the food groups. And uh, if you don't, your body thinks you're going into starvation mode and it shuts down and then it, it eats away at your muscles. It doesn't really eat away at the fat. And uh, well, it probably eats away at some of the fat, but it's like it's damaging your organs when you're not having enough to nutri you know, to give them enough nourishment with, uh, with your food. And uh, so you need to eat, you eat a little bit more. Um, number six is not exercising enough. Um, I love to go for my walk. I don't consider it exercise, although I know it's exercise. But uh, I just, um, 
try to find I tried to find something that I really enjoyed I don't like walking on a treadmill so um, I, I enjoy walking outside so that's what I do I walk just about every day obviously I'm hoping that I can get my walk in later on today but so far it's not looking like it. it's, it's pretty windy out there and then um, I don't I have a bicycle. I used to like bike riding, but I'll be honest with you, I'm afraid that I'm going to fall. And I know I can ride a bike because I thought, you know, Jim says, you just get on it and you can ride it and you can see it. And I did. I rode it to the corner and back and I had no problems, but I, just the fear I have of falling. Um, number seven is not being motivated enough, which comes to your mindset. You just have to have the right mindset and that gives you your motivation. I have the right mindset this year. I know I'm going to do well this year because um, I have the right mindset and um, and I, I've, I'm feeling very motivated. I really am. Um, incorrect portion sizes. Now, I'm guilty of this even now. I look at my plate sometimes, and even though it's healthy foods that I'm choosing, uh, it's, it tends to be a little bit on the heavy side. And so uh, I need to um, rein that back in a little bit. I need to um, realize that, you know, even though like I'm eating berries and there's zero points, there's still calories. And I mean, I know they're not a lot of calories, but I do tend to go a little bit crazy on my fruit. And it's sugar, and it's natural sugar, but it's sugar. So I have to cut back a little bit. Uh, number nine is just having too much junk food in the house. If you have to get in the car and drive to get something, you're more likely not to want not to eat it. Because like if you have cookies in your cookie jar, you're just going to go to your cookie jar and you're going to get some cookies. But if you have to go to the store to buy the cookies, you're going to think twice. You're just going to think, eh, do I really need to have the cookies? And uh, the cookie aisle too was almost depleted <laughs> because people went crazy buying the cookies and the crackers and things like that. Um, number 10 is just putting too much pressure on yourself. Always know that when your body wants to give up the weight, it's going to give it up. You can be perfect, follow your plan completely 100%, not make one little detour off of it, and get on the scale and not lose any weight. And then you go, what the heck, why am I even bothering? And then eat whatever you want, and then the next week have a two pound loss. And then you're thinking, you'll see, I ate what I wanted and I lost two pounds. No, that's really weight you should have lost the week before. That two pounds that you lost this week, is gonna come back as a gain the next week because you ate crazy this week. But, uh, these are 10 reasons that uh, I think that'll help us to realize why we're not losing weight. I'm doing pretty well on my plan. I'm really proud of myself this year, and I know I'm bragging, but you know what? If you can't brag about yourself, who can you brag about? Well, you can brag about your kids, your grandkids. I mean, you, there's lots of people you can brag about. But you got to have faith in yourself is the whole point. So, um, anyway, I have faith in myself. I believe in myself, and I know that this is my year, and I know I'm going to lose my weight. So... With that being said, I think I'm going to close out the video now because, like I said, I'm not going to show you my food today, and um, I haven't got anything else to say, believe it or not. I'm not at a loss for words. I just don't have anything else to say. All I can tell you is that I'm praying for you every day. I'm praying that this um, will pass quickly within the month and uh, that we won't lose any loved ones and um, that we, we can all stick together and be great Americans together, be all great people together, not just Americans, just a great people, because it's not just one country that's suffering, it's the whole world that's suffering, and so the whole world needs to get together and solve this problem, and um, I really do believe that we will get together and do this, so if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, and share if you think somebody might like to see it.